Tonight, the wife of the Saul Chatuka County Commissioner has been booked into jail and released from jail. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. Somerville Police confirms that Abby Winters was witnessed, uh, witnessed uh, pouring a fountain drink on a reporter and her gear this morning. We spoke with a Somerville teacher who saw the incident and says there might be a bigger problem. Isaiah Kim Martinez explains. Now, what started as a county meeting for the public to voice their concerns about potential tax increases then turned into something much, much more that brought the police department over. The most classless act I have ever witnessed in my whole life, and I've been a lot of places. A Chattooga County meeting gone sideways Friday morning. I looked just in time to see her dump it right on Casey's head, and Casey just sat there. In fact, we all were shocked. You can see in these photos provided to us, Somerville, Georgia reporter Casey Bryant with soda poured all over her. Somerville police say Commissioner Jason Winters wife, Abby Winters, is being charged with simple battery and disorderly conduct after they say she was seen dumping her drink on Bryant's head. And then Mrs. Winters started to say she deserved it. She deserved that and more. I said nobody deserves that. Paula Arden is an English teacher at Chattooga High and was at the public meeting to voice her concerns about future tax increases. She said the incident caused her to leave early because she was mortified that this could happen at a meeting. Police say Winters tells them it was an accident and that she had tripped and fallen. We reached out to the Winters family for a comment but did not get a response. Arden believes this could have all stemmed from a comment on Bryant's Facebook page from a follower asking her to investigate a potential misuse of funds by the commissioner. You know, I see the same same old nothing being done to improve the town. And an investigative reporter from the Somerville News tells me, quote, so far this newspaper hasn't found a single shred of truth to the rumor that the commissioner had used county funds for a personal trip for him and his wife. The reporter tells me this all looks to be malicious gossip. Reporting in Chattooga County, I'm Isaiah Kim Martinez. Now, Winters is in his third term as sole commissioner in Chattooga County and has been no stranger to tax increases. In 2017, there was a 25 percent tax increase. It was the second largest in county history. And new tonight, Walker County will move from a sole commissioner to a board of commissioners in 2021. According to the county's director of public relations, commission candidates will run in the May primary and then the November general election. They'll start office in 2021. The board will be made up of four commissioners and a chairperson.